first and video. Kung wala kayong cellphone. So, wala yun. Anyway, well, good evening. I would like first to introduce myself. My name is Ranger. And everybody, welcome to my mansion. <laughs> welcome to the mansion of Don Mariano Lides Malaksun, or popularly known as The Ruins. Well, before you tour around the place, I will give you first a brief information about the family history of Don Mariano. Kung saan ako nang gating. <laughs> and with Don Mariano Yes Malakson, who's the youngest among the eight children of Lucio Lakson and Clara Ledesma, who held from Molo Iloilo. One of his older brothers, General Aniceto Lakson, became the first revolutionary president in Negros. That's the term Bacolod, may tinatawag kami, Lakson Street John. That's because of him. Anyway, Don Mariano Yes Malakson married to Maria Braga, a Portuguese came from Macau, and they were blessed with ten children. As hindi mo sa masyadong mahilig mag-anak, sampu lang. Including the former governor of Negros, Rafael Lacson. But after giving birth to her ten child, and upon yearing for full term, eleven pregnancy, Maria Braga died because of an accident. As far as they know, nagdula sa bathroom nila. Yun lang, tapos patahindi. More days bago dumating ang doktor na sinundo. And guess what yung sanggali ng doktor? Buti sana kung from Manila, maniwala akong four days. From Silay lang, where the airport is. Kaso dati walang main road. They use tourist drone courage or kalisa. Two days sa paikot-ikot na puntang Silay. Two days pabalik dito. Kung ganun katagal ang doktor, pagdating niya, obviously, patay na si Maria Braga, kasama ang anak na binatalan niya. But don't be sad. Don Mariano married again to Concepcion Diaz, a Filipina from Talisay. Hindi pala kontinu sa sampo, dinugtungan pa ng tatlo. So all in all, Mariano had 13 children. Out of 13, ang yang is second wife, recently lang namatay. Wag nyo ating gabi. Si Celia Lacson Misa. She passed away last September 7 of 2011 at the age of 93 years old. It means wala na siyang anak na buhay. Pagkakataon ko nang makuha. <laughs> and si Don Mariano, isa sa nagmamayari ng pinakamalawak ng sugarcane plantation dito. And specifically, it's 440 hectares. But then, dinivide niya yun sa sampo niyang anak, hindi kasama ang tatlo. Bakit? May mother. <laughs> Yun ang that time kasi ang pinaprioritize lang daw is the first family. So yung sampo ni naghati-hatin to be fair, green, no lots, or nagbunutan lang sila. This mansion went to Mercedes Lacson, but she married to Manuel Javiliana from Haru Iloilo. And guess what? Nakaanak din sila ng labing dalawa. Of course, walang TV noon. Walang ibang-ibang. <laughs> ang labing dalawa na yun, hinatira nila ang 44 hectares na Mercedes at the same way by lottery again. So sabi ko, habang palayo ang generation, palikit na ng palikit ang properties. Now, ang natira na lang is only 3.6 hectares kasama ng mansion went to Ramon Javiliana. E patay na rin siya. Isa sa mga anak ni Ramon ang naka-idea na i-develop a place and that is Mr. Raymond Javiliana. It means this is already owned by the Javiliana family managed by Mr. Raymond Javiliana. Kaso wala siya dito ngayon. Ako muna, mamaya pagbalik ka di siya. <laughs> ano yung pinag-develop ng Tio Place? Last May of 2007, then by January 2008, inopen na sa public as tourist attraction. Bago lang, 14 years pa lamang kami open sa public, but this mansion was built in 1920. So, bibilangin natin, this is already a 102 years old mansion. But after 20 years silang tirahan noon, in 1942, that's in early part of World War II, Japanese-American War, plinano ng mga hapon na gamitin nilang headquarters or garrison ng bahay na to. Pero, 
naunahan ng mga Amerikano. Pag ito ng mga Amerikano, in-instruct sa mga Pilipino na lahat ng bahay na pwede magamit ng kapon, sunungin. So ang mansyo din doon, Mariano, isa sa mga sinunog nila. It means, sinunog nila to intentionally with consent of the family for the sake na hindi magamit ng mga hapon. Pero you know what? It's a very good idea na sinunog nila. At least, may trabaho ako. <laughs> Try to imagine kasi kung inalaw nilang tirahan ko ng hapon, may possibility magbubomba ng tira mga Amerikano. E kung binomba nila, wala nilang tirahan Wala akong trabaho. At wala rin kayo ngayon dito. <laughs> At least, It's at least kahit sinunog nila, may structure pa until now na naabutan natin ngayon. This is the original pictures of the family Lakson and try to look at him. Kaya pala kalabing tatlong anak ang gwapo, di ba? Look alike of Dr. Jose Rizal. Pero nung tumanda na no comment sa picture, <laughs> naman natin si year 1948. Ito yung anim na anak siyang babae na kung titigan nyo, wala namang kahilig-hilig magsuot ng ribbon. <laughs> Ito yung, uh, umarik natin yung naitan sa amin sa mailig magsuot ng ribbon. Bakit nila laki ng ribbon nila? At bakit lahat sila may ribbon? Well, gusto ko lang malaman nyo, typical sa mga mayayaman noon, kailangan malalaki ang ribbon. Malaki ang ribbon, mas mayaman. Noon yun. <laughs> Pero ngayon, akala mo, sumas ng gate, malalaki ng ribbon, katulong. <laughs> Ito yung apat na anak siyang lalaki. This is the former governor of Negros, Rafael Lacson, Felipe, the one who supervised the construction of this mansion, Ramon Lacson, Eduardo Lacson, and this is Mercedes Lacson, who married to Javiliana. But you know what? Out of six daughters of Don Mariano, three only are married. The three are all made, married to Kwaikong Habiliana in Gonzaga. That's why kung tatanungin niyo ko, Abel, sa laki ng pamilyang ito, ilang kwarto mayroon sa mansyon na ito? Well, this is a 903 square meter floor area of the mansion, 450 up, 450 down, composed of 10 rooms. Sampung kwarto, including the master's bedroom and the family room. So, come with me, ma'am, sir. I will see this supposed to be part of the house. That's the rooms for the girls upstairs and four for the boys downstairs. The family room, master's bedroom, left and the right upstairs. That is the living room and this is the dining area. But out of that, rooms, they have only two comfort rooms. Why? Bakit sa laki naman siya, dalawa lang comfort rooms? Yung malawak mo yung tukuhan mo. During that time kasi, it's the comfort room for every room. They used a Rinola. Diba? Even sa mga old houses. And common in Spanish homes before, that between their dining room and the kitchen, they have their own small art window. And they put that window to facilitate the movement of the foods and to minimize the food traffic in and out of the kitchen. And besides, isa sa mga table manners sila noon, hindi sila kumakain kung may servant sa harap nila. Especially kung kami. Ito yung nag-smile. Isa dito kanina, so may mga mga. Hindi ko printing siya na tabahan siya. Pusa siya mo na kapakalaman. It means, inside of that small art when mo is kusina nila noon, but I'm proud to say, warto ko na ngayon. Which is so weird. Pero kung nasunod ko lang ang mga mga universe, ito, all the tiles that you can see right now are still original from Spain. And they call this Machuca tiles. The hardest, the famous, and the most expensive tiles during that time. By the way, the mansion has three entrances. The main entrance, the side, and the back entrance. Main entrance is intended for their visitors only. Side is for their children, and back is for their servant. So you are lucky because you passed this entrance. It's a variety of tiles. It's so clear. Very in the one, Mom, sir. 
nagsasabay ng papatibay ng structure ng bahay na kayo. What you can try this. Try to run your hands to the posting voice of the machine. You will feel like a marble or napakakinis niya. Sabi nila, bakit daw ganyan kakinis? Eh, ikaw ba namang araw-araw kung pahawakan mo kayo? <laughs> bakit daw ganyan? Ang sikreto kasi nito before. <laughs> Maniwala kayo sa hindi ang finish ng buong mansion instead of tubig na ihalo sa semento, they use egg whites or pote ng itlog. Diba even sa mga old cathedrals, there is also egg whites which they minister binder. But you're right, just imagine kung ilang itlog na ubus bago na buong yung mansion. Eh, ikaw nga may isa dito sa akin, guys, galit niya ako ng ilang mga. Saan sila kumuha ng itlog? Galit ko rin siya yung sila. Sobrado ako yung hindi sa akin. Kung mga talo para ako yung pumisa ng itlog. Anyway, sila malami, may farm sila noon. Poultry, di ba? So kung may farm sila noon, malamang ito yung reason kung bakit wala na silang farm ngayon. So on a very large hurricane plantation, it's never. Try to look at the structure outside na may pinto sa taas. Nakita nyo yun, yung parang tower tapos tinubuan ng puno. Alam nyo ba, ma'am sir, kung ano yung mataas na structure na yun? Bakit hindi importante yun? Bahay ni Rapunzel. <laughs> By the way, guys, that is the chimney. Smoke stock. Chimney of their Muscovado sugar mill. Or they made their own Muscovado sugar during that time. Manwali, kanabaw yung umiikot dyan. Tapos ang kanabaw, may takip sa kanang mata pa rin ikot, kaliwa lang. Kasi walang takip yun, kakanan, masisirang rotation nila. Kanabaw yung umiikot dyan is to extract the juice from the sugar cane using that two big stone or we call it molino. Ilalagay sa large spots, doon niluluto ang asukan. Ang tawag nila dyan in Spanish words, makina, di ba po? Di oran nyo, di ko nyo. Mahirap. Asukarira na lang. Di ba guys, may puno na sa taas. Kung paano po tayong puno doon, they call that bird droppings or maybe dala ng ibon. Napakapangit naman kung magpakit ng gardener doon para mag-tree planting. Well, part also of this mansion is the original fountain since 1920. Yes, you're right. That's an original fountain, except the water. <laughs> and mostly, guys, ito yung tinatanong din sa Abel. Kung plinano dati ng mga Japanese na gamitin nilang headquarters or garrison ng bahay na to, paano daw nila natunto ng lugar? Kasi ito, nakatago naman tayong nabit nila ng sugar cane plantation. Hindi nga tayo kung walang minagturo, hindi natin magkita to. Well, according to their history, huli nang nalaman ng mga nakson that their gardener were informer of the Japanese. Siya ay nagturo ng place na to. But dito, they did not succeed kasi naunahan ng mga Amerikano. Pinasunog ang bahay, hindi na pakinabangan ng mga hapon. Okay, baling katanungan natin kanina kung bakit labing tatlo ang anak niya, walong kwarto lang dyan. First, hindi nakatira ang tatlo dito sa second family niya. So, ten lang. Kulang pa rin ang kwarto. May rule siyang binigay sa sampun niyang anak noon na hindi kayo maaaring tumira dito kung may asawa na kayo. E yung dalawa married na, kaya walong kwarto ay yung pinagawa niya. Kaya pala hindi nakatira ang tatlo dito sa second family niya kasi nung na asawa ulit siya, sinunod niya rin ang rule na binigay niya. Hindi niya pinatira dito, umalis din siya. Because this mansion was built in honor of his first wife, Maria Prada. Para kay Maria Prada ang bahay na to, but sad to say, hindi rin siya nakatira dito. Kasi patay na siya nung pinatayo ang mansion. It means pinatayo to and memory of her. Kaya nga tinawag ang place na to as the Taj Mahal of Negros. It's because of that story. If you are familiar with the story of Taj Mahal in India, similar sila. Ang pagkakaiba lang sa Taj Mahal in India, doon mismo nakalibing ang asawa niya. Dito, hindi nga nakalibing dito, abay nagpaparamdam. <laughs> hindi nga nakalibing yung asawa niya dito, but he molded their initials in every post of the house. Is it makita yun? Yeah. Di ba na? <laughs> right, look at the structure inside that we can see. Yes, guys, what letter E? You see, it looks like letter E, but this is not letter E. In fact, these are two M's facing each other. Stands for Mariano and Maria. Well, may nagtanong, sana po letter M yan. Bakit pinatagilid? Hindi na lang pinatayo. 
at try pa tayo in, mukha siyang MacDool. <laughs> Part of their Italian late architecture and designs, makikita daw natin ang value na isang bagay kung paghirapan natin titikan. Suggest ko lang, kailangan yung tumagilid para malamang letter M. So, so that's two M's in reclined positions. Stands for Mariano and Maria. Well, you know what, ma'am, sir? Before po ito in-open sa public as tourist attraction, gusto ko lang malaman nyo, abandon lang to for 67 years. Imagine, ginagawang comfort rooms ng mga squatters, terahan ng mga taong nagtatrabaho sa tubuhan, tali na makalabaw nila, kambi, bakang, but because of the determination of Mr. Raymond Davillana, na sabi niya, sa Europe, pinito sir, yung ruins, bakit dito hindi? Sabi niya, okay, I will enter to my very ambitious dream in life. I will transform into a tourist attraction and to give justice to the place. Ano si parang binaboy na to ng tao. Pero you know what? Nakaka-proud lang sabihin sa inyo that even though for 10 years pa lamang kami open sa public as tourist attraction, we are already at round 12 for the most fascinating ruins, not only here in the Philippines, but around the world. Mm -hmm. And imagine, diba guys, imagine kung ilang ruins meron sa buong mundo. For the records, ni research ko, there are 12 ruins. <laughs> Rank 12. <laughs> More than a thousand ruins meron sa buong mundo. But kaya, Rank 12, nakaka-proud sa Pilipino na may isang nasama. And recently, we already awarded or declared by the PICE or Philippines Institute of Civil Engineers as the best landmark in the Philippines. We're also recognized by the UAP or United Architects of the Philippines. But you guys, nakuha na yung mga awards na yan. Naabot lang naman namin yan. Not only because of us na nagtatrabaho dito, but because of you also. Take note, hindi naman ito magiging best landmark. Hindi naman ito magiging best destination kung saan ito ako dito walang katao-tao. Not because of you yun and we're thankful for that. But before I end this tour, I would like again to introduce myself. My full name is Roger Luxon. <laughs> but I'm not related in this family because my Luxon is L-A-K. <laughs> S O L O N. I'm just the local version of the family. Maybe kung may ari nito, apu sa tuod, ako na ang apu sa ingrown. Alam ko ang ingrown tinatanggal. Pero gusto mo malaman yung ang ingrown bumabalik. Tanggalin man nila ako, babalik at babalik ako. And now, park developer ni Esauvener Shop in the restaurant over there, guys. I'm inviting you to visit our restaurant because I am planning to burn that. <laughs> well, guys, I will take this opportunity to accommodate questions. Do you have any questions, ma'am, sir? Kasi kanina ang dami-dami ng tanong dito. Kuya, anong oras kayo nagsasara? Baka <laughs> walang pinto. Kung <laughs> iba dito, masakit mong tanong, no? Kuya, araw-araw ba? May tao dito. Mukha ba? Mukha ito. But for those who wants to know, kung pwede itong i-rent out for your events, yes. We accommodate all occasions except burial. <laughs> well, we will go on anniversary. You want it out for exclusive. And don't you know, ma'am, sir, that before we allow people to go up, that's why if you notice yung mga bin namin, yung mga hawakan, para makatulay kayo going to veranda. But recently, may muntik mahulog. So we decided to stop na lang. Pero, kung gusto nyo ma-experience yung taas ngayon, dahil malakas naman kayo sa akin, okay, pwede na yung umakyat doon. Pero hindi na kayo pwede gumawa. <laughs> So, mabili kayo. Dito nag-i-enjoy ka. Lifetime doon na kayo. What's John Stomar? Wala na tayo ka doon. Okay, well, if you have any questions anymore, just turn your camera out of your cell phone, take a picture, take a selfie, and enjoy the place. God bless. Maraming salamat pa. Thank you. First time, picture kayo, ma'am.